Hey friends, it's Cherie, and in today's video, I'm doing a little sewing catch up with you. But first, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning person, thank you so much for your continued support. All right, let's get into it. This video is long overdue. I have been so sick, guys. I just got my voice back, and so I'm trying to catch up on filming, but I haven't been able to do as much because of a really bad cold I had. I had laryngitis. Well, I had an upper respiratory infection, laryngitis, and also I just have been struggling with my asthma. So I might be taking some breaths, and I might sound a little different in this video, and I do apologize for that. So in this video, I hope to share with you my Indie Stitch unboxing all my sewing plans for the next few weeks, as well as one item that I just completed. And so we'll start with Indie Stitch. If you're not familiar with Indie Stitch, Indie Stitch is a monthly sewing subscription service where they send you a sewing project every single month. And inside this box, you'll have everything you need to complete the project. And it is always a garment. This month is actually for the month of July. As I mentioned, I've been really sick, so I haven't been able to film and upload. Um, it's a really good one. I'm very excited about it. In this month's box, we received the Hathaway Tank by Blank Slate Patterns, and this is what it looks like. This little information card is super handy. It comes with every single box, usually right on top, and what it does is it tells you what pattern you received, as well as all of the things that are included in the box. There is a QR code to take you directly to a sew along and there is a special coupon code that you use in order to download a PDF version of the pattern and instruction. It lets us know on the back of the information card that we received the blank slate patterns tank and it's the Hathaway tank and this is what it looks like. Additionally, it tells us that there were nine different fabric options and they were all really lovely. I picked the one that I was the most drawn to, but they were all really nice. And then it lets us know that there is a printed copy of the pattern in the box. First, let me show you the fabric that I selected. I selected a 100% rayon chali. And what I love about Indie Stitch is that they include instructions on how to care for the fabric right on the outside of this little bag that holds the fabric. I've already ripped it open, so it's not as nice as it was. But I'm so excited about this fabric. It is a really gorgeous black fabric, and it has beautiful ditzy white flowers all over it. It's super soft and drapey. And this is, how many yards? This is two yards of fabric, which is perfect for a tank, or actually quite a few different of my patterns that I have in my stash that are short sleeve shirts. Like I might be able to even squeeze a patina blouse out of this. And I just recently made one that I love and it's a long sleeve um, black, white ditzy floral print, but it's more of a heavier weight of fabric and this is light and swishy. I could definitely see myself making a short sleeve one out of this if I don't make the blank, blank slate tank. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous fabric, beautifully soft, nice and drapey and I love it. So nice. This would also make a really great pencil skirt or midi skirt. Oh my gosh, that would be so pretty. Okay, the next thing in the box is heat erasable pens. I have a love-hate relationship with these heat erasable pens. I have had some that were perfect, wonderful, amazing, and then I have had some where they left permanent white lines on my fabric from where I marked. And it generally happened on dark fabrics, like dark denims, which I was so surprised about. But something about the pins that I was using before, they are, are an Amazon brand. They actually lifted the indigo from my jeans. So um, I always feel a bit nervous when I see fabric prints, but I have had some really nice ones as well. But this is really nice because it comes with three different colors white, blue, and red. Really nice. That's very generous. That's a lot of pins. The next thing in the box is a hot ironing ruler. And I love these so much. I actually own some already that I purchased. 
And what I love about these is that you can get the perfect hem when you're ironing your hem up. And you can iron right over, if I could just get it out of the package, you can iron right over the ruler. Oh, I can't get it out. I might have to take it out later and insert a picture so that you could see what this looks like. But they're really nice and I'll actually show you the picture that's on the card. Hopefully you can see it. But they're really nice for hemming. And this one's really great because it's 2.5 inches by 10 inches, which I don't have this measurement in a ruler yet, but I use these all the time. And the next thing in the box is the thread in the needles. And I just was really nicely surprised by the fact that inside here, there are also several little tags, which I love. I love sewing labels and sewing tags. Um, and it looks like there might be four in here, which is super nice because I love them and they don't usually include them in here with the thread and the needle. So the needles are 7511 flat shank needles and then it's Guterman thread, the same color as the fabric. But I'm so excited about this, that's so great. The next thing in here is hook and loop cord wraps. It says wrap up your cords. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think, yes. Okay, so these are like Velcro strips. It looks like we got lots of them actually. Hold on. There are five in here, that's so great. And you bundle up your cords. You know, like when you're sewing, you have all the different cords kind of like overlapping on top of each other. Bundle them up and then you stick them through a little tie just like this. Oh, I went too tight. And then you stick it down and they hold in place. So all your little cords will be nice and bundled. This is a nifty little thing to have. Wow, I love these. And I definitely like this better than a zip tie, which is more permanent. Really, really nice. Okay, lastly in the box is the pattern. And this is the printed pattern for the tank. To access the instructions, you have to go to the website and enter that coupon code to get the instructions. But printed on really nice sturdy paper. Love that. It is black ink instead of the multicolored ink. So you definitely wanna be careful when cutting out your size. But yeah, I'm super pleased with this month's box. And they gave us a little sneak peek for the upcoming box. And that one is super good as well. That one's going to be the Capri skirt. Oh my gosh, by Made for Mermaids. I really like Made for Mermaids, but look at this awesome skirt. Really gorgeous. Wow, okay, I really enjoy this box. And I can't wait to get started sewing up whatever I plan to make with this, because I'm not sure if I can make a tank out of this absolutely stunning fabric. It might have to be something more, but I do like the tank a lot. I don't know, I'm gonna have to think about that one. <laughs> but if you're interested in signing up with Indie Stitch, I will have a link in the information section below. That link will take you directly to Indie Stitch. I do have an affiliate link. So if you use my link, I will get a small commission from that sale. Okay, let's go into my sewing plans. Now, everything I'm about to share with you is what I was supposed to sew in July. But friends, I was too sick. I couldn't do it. Um, the first thing that I am sewing up is the Sierra Pant and Short by Paper Cut Patterns. This is what it looks like. It is a barrel leg denim jeans pattern. And I'm super excited about this one. I recently tried to do my own barrel legs using a pattern that's not necessarily made for denim. Um, and I think it came out cute, but to have a, a pattern that's made to be made for jeans is going to make um, them fit, I think, a lot better. Also, this one has a zip front and all of that and a traditional waistband. This is the denim I'm using. It is a slightly lightweight, light wash denim that I got from Stone Mountain and Daughter. Really gorgeous fabric. I recently shared this in a fabric haul. So that is plan number one. Plan number two is I had made um, Simplicity 4552 the pants and shared that with you guys last month um, in a linen. And I love those pants so much that I decided I wanted to make them out of this pinstriped fabric that I got from Indie Stitch. So this was supposed to be a pair of shorts, but I decided to make another pair of light breezy pants. And that's one thing I love about Indie Stitch is the fabric is so nice and there's usually quite a bit in each box that I can make pretty much anything I want if I don't decide to make the pattern that's in the box. And I always feel very happy about my fabric choice. 
So if you look closely, it's got that railroad um, print fabric and I'm so thrilled. They're gonna be so comfortable and perfect for what, what is our summer here in the Bay Area. So we are entering in our hot months. Usually it's hot in August and September. So all this summer when everybody's been burning up and everything, where I live, it hasn't been super, super hot. We've had a few hot days, but it hasn't been terrible at all. So that's plan number two. Plan number three. Okay, so you know how I made the Seamwork Ash dress last month in black? I love that dress. I love that dress so much. I live in that dress. Love it so much that I have to have another one. And I'm going to copy the inspiration right there on the front. And I cut it out. And here's another perfect example of how Andy Stitch hooks you up with their fabric, okay? Because they sent me this gorgeous linen fabric to make the Arden Pants by Helen's Closet. And that's actually another plan of mine. I've already cut it out. So in this stack here, we have the Arden Pants as well as that dress. So they sent me more than enough, more than enough fabric to not only make the Arden pants, but also to make the dress. So again, I highly recommend this um, pattern and this is the Seamwork Ash dress. If you're interested in a Seamwork subscription, I definitely recommend it. Please use the link in the information section below to save yourself 50% on your subscription. Don't miss out on that awesome, amazing deal. So if you're interested in seeing more, definitely check that out. But yes, I am so thrilled. So, okay, so this is the Ash. Let me show you what the Arden pants look like. These are the Arden pants. And this is a Helen's Closet pattern. So this was an indie stitch box from, I wanna say May, I'm not positive, but I just finally got around to cutting it out. And I'm so thrilled. It's going to be so gorgeous in this awesome blue linen fabric. And this is what came in my indie stitch box. So thrilled. So I get my dress and I get my pants all out of that fabric from indie stitch. Thank you, indie stitch, for being so generous because I'm so thrilled that I can get two garments out of the three cut, three yard cut fabric that they sent me. So those are all the sewing plans that I have. It's not a ton, but it's partly because I haven't been able to sew a lot. Yeah. There may be a day when I have a ton of energy and I just plow through all of these projects in one weekend, but then there may not. It might be me working at these little by little over the entire month. I didn't get to make all the beautiful summer dresses that I wanted to make, but that's okay. I've moved on. I didn't cut any of those out. So we're just gonna focus on these projects for the month of August. All right, let me show you what I just made. This is another seamwork pattern. I believe this is called the carry. It's a jumpsuit. So we're going to Disneyland and I always love to wear Disney attire. Um, but this is a little short romper style jumpsuit. It has really gorgeous deep pockets so I can put everything I want in there. I'm also gonna be carrying a little backpack. So I may not even use these pockets for much more than my hands, but it's such a cute little jumpsuit and it's such an easy pattern to put together. I will put a picture of the pattern cover so that you can see what it looks like. You can make this out of an, any number of fabrics, but I plan on making another one out of double gauze. But anyways, out of this gorgeous chambray cotton, it looks great. And as you can see, there's Minnie and Mickey all over it. So really comfortable, really cute, super easy pattern to put together. Again, it's a Seamwork pattern. So if you're interested in Seamwork, check that guy out because he's perfect for summer. Those are all the things that I wanted to share with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're able to get some sewing in. I hope you have a fantastic day and a wonderful week. Talk to you soon. Bye.